What's up guys, it's David at Finish Line Factory and I'm here with Stuart. We're here at Supercar Rooms. Uh, they're having a huge GTR event. Uh, there's oh man, R33s, R32s, tons of GTRs. Um, but anyway, they might have like, some classic stuff too, so we're going to hop over there and check it out. Let's go. There are a ton of cars here. There's classics, new stuff. We're going to start here at this R34. I don't, you know what, Stuart? I don't think I've ever seen this many uh, GTRs in one place. Look at this thing. It's got a Nismo uh, plenum. Individual throttle bodies. This is this is an S2 concept engine spec one. So with uh, Nismo, when you would send your car to Nismo, there's S2, R2, Z2. Right. Okay. So Z2, um, S2 is basically like. Okay, yeah, we'll put like, you know, an intake on it, we'll fiddle with the ECU, uh, you know, we might do some fitzing with the turbos. Um, our tune is basically, okay, let's give you the ECU, let's do a little bit of valve work, let's put slightly bigger turbos in it, let's work the intakes for the turbos, and let's give you a tune. Our tune is like, okay, how much money you got? Our tune is basically, we're giving you carbon fiber fenders. We're giving you a carbon fiber spoiler, carbon fiber lip, carbon fiber bumpers. We're giving you side skirts, a tune, an intake, a ported head. We're gonna give you two humongous turbos with uh, better intake manifolds, with a real cold air intake system. We're gonna give you a short throw shifter, all this stuff. Z-Tune is basically go. And you get wheels with the Z tune, which that M Spec 2 newer over there is a Z tune. Oh yeah. That makes sense. And you know how you can tell? How can you tell? Look at the fenders. Because I've, I've seen this car before. Look at the fenders. You see how, uh, like on a normal? So look yeah. at look at this. What's up? Look at this GTR right here. You see how the fender kind of curves up onto the hood? Yeah. Now this is dude. This is Midnight Z2. Purple Three. Huh? This is Midnight Purple Three, yeah, dude. That's one of Trap Team's cars. Yeah. I think Trap Team also sold this car. I remember when they yes. sold it. So the way you can tell a Z-Tune is look at the fenders. Right. See how they come up and they're creased? Well, they're vented behind there to evacuate air from the wheel well. Oh, yeah? Dude, I, I thought I thought that was part of the M-Spec. No, that's, those are Z-Tune fenders. I see. They're full Dude, carbon it's got LMGT4s on it. They pull a premium. The LMGT4s like, you get as part of a Z-Tune package. Oh, yeah? those are like four, It's a $4,000 set of wheels, dude. I wanted them yeah. for my 240, but it was way yeah, too expensive. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're super expensive. And I'm dude. trying to see... That one has the Z-Tune wing risers, but this one doesn't. Oh, I see. And the other thing that Z-Tune gives you is a fully adjustable spoiler. Oh, wow. Like, instead of just being two clicks, it's like ten. I see, I see. Okay, yeah, no, let's go check out some more cars. Dude, that's the same steering wheel I had on my 240. With the red stitching and that deep dish Nardi, I had this. You notice the Nismo cluster? What? Oh, dude. It's got an 11,000 RPM cluster. Holy crap. Look at that. Because I've heard of RBs revving up to like ten. Oh, yeah, you could definitely do it. Yeah. If you no, set it up easy. right. It's got some really nice seats in it too. This is a big single. Oh, dude, look at this. Look at the, the titanium pie cuts. Titanium piping. Well, that's not titanium, that's stainless steel. Is it? I don't know, man. Yeah, stainless steel. Is it stainless steel? Yep. Because you, you, there's no, typically when I see t uh, pie cuts, it's, on, it's done on titanium. Because, like, you can get stainless steel bends. There's no reason to do. Um, a lot of pie guys cuts. nowadays do it just for the pure art style. Yeah, for the look. Um, because a lot of tuners in Japan started doing that as kind of yeah. like a style thing. It looks really cool. You got, the, you got some there and there. Yeah. That's a huge turbo. T51R. Oh, there you go. What is it? Is that an HKS? Yeah. HKS turbo? Yeah. So this right is there. all, this looks like a lot of mines work. The intakes oh, yeah? and stuff like that. The carbon fiber intake is definitely mines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. For the, yeah. uh, what is that? The catch can or the overflow tank? That's uh, single. The Yamazaki single malt Japanese whiskey. Oh yeah, look at that right there. Mines Motorsports. Yeah. That strut tower bar uh, costs a pretty penny. Oh, I bet they're hard to get. Dude, it's really nice looking. Look at this carbon fiber intake. Huge turbo. This is this is the works. Dude, Steely, hey, let's go ahead into the showcase. Check this out, man. Come on, bro. Dude, look at this thing. 
Oh my god. Dry carbon center console. Wow, blue leather with a, a white border around it. So it matched on the hmm, matching the steering wheel and the interior. So it's got this uh, blue exterior. Oh, this is a 50th anniversary edition. Okay, okay. Wow, it looks really, really slick. Looks like it's got like, a titanium exhaust. Man. Very unique wheels. What the hell are you doing? Huh? Hey, it's Scott. What's up, Scott? So Scott has a 1500 horsepower GTR, so we're, actually no, I think he just did some upgrades so it's actually faster now. <laughs> Look at this thing. Blue stripe going down the middle. And over here we've got a classic. Stu, I'm sure you know all about this thing, right? It's not a Hakasuka. Yeah, I noticed it's not a Hakasuka. It's a Prince. A Prince. A Prince Skyline. What's a Prince Skyline? Prince is what Nissan used to be called. It was a division of Nissan, kind of like how Nissan and Infiniti are now. Yeah. Prince was what Infiniti was to Datsun. I see. You know, the Skyline was originally a luxury car, right? It still is. Yeah. No. It was like a... It had big swooping fenders, and the back of the car was visually lower than the front of the car. Right, right. It was this big kind of luxury car. Okay. And then with the second generation of Skyline, Prince Skyline, what they did was they, uh, they, oh, that's really cool. SCCJ sticker on the back of it. Oh, yeah? Hey, look at that. And does that sound, does that sound for what I think it does? Yeah. Sports Car, car Club, Club of Japan? Japan. Yep. Wow. So this is a raced car. This is a driven car. Yes. I mean, I, I know JDM Legends got their hands on this and did a did a complete um, or like a mild restoration on it. Um, but this was the second generation of it, so this is 1967. Okay. And this is before we got into what we know as the Hakasuka. Wow. So this is pre Hakasuka. Yes. So these are two liter inline sixes, five speed. Wow. Five speed in 1967. Stripped interior, no roll cage. But this was probably like a. I don't know, maybe they had like different um, safety requirements back then, you know? Maybe they were a little more lax. Yeah, well, it was, you know, this was a club racer. Yeah. So this is like a, a driven, a street driven car that you can uh, take to the track. So from what I know about this car from JDM Legends, these are, uh, I think, the original seats reupholstered. Wow. Oh, you, you've seen this exact car before? I've seen it on their website. This is really so nice. Really cool is all the Japanese nostalgic car stickers, they're great uh, part suppliers. Yeah. Um, they run a really cool Facebook group. The JDM Legends sells a lot of, uh, they'll bring over a Hakasuka and they'll restore it for you. Or they'll okay. bring over like a, a Bluebird or a 510 or whatever, and they'll restore it for you. They. They bring over um, right now a lot of Ken Marys, right, and a lot of R31s and R30s. So. Look at this thing, man! This is this is sick. Yeah, these things are cool, man. Let's take a look at the let's a take a look at the uh, the driver zone. Uh, relatively unknown sports car in America because they never really made their way over here. But, yeah, uh, yeah, and, and you know, usually you hear like the C110 and the Hakasuka and yeah. and the R31, R32, but this is this is a rarity. Vintage personal steering wheel. Oh wow, that's really cool. <laughs> everything is correct. Everything is perfect. That's really cool. Oh yeah. What this I is. Like and this is a feature on a lot of uh, early Japanese cars. So that indent right there, you put your finger in it, and you move it out of the way, and the key's under there. They do that so that it doesn't ice over. Oh, wow. And it's pretty smart. Yeah, because old blocks weren't the best in the world, so you would move that out of the way, and it's so it, it would prevent your lock from icing over so you can still get the key in it in the morning. Smart, smart. Because this was, ideally, this was a businessman's car with, uh, you know, fairly hot right, motor right. in it. Right, right. Well, maybe not this one specifically, but yeah, this was a, a businessman's car. These were, you know, when you look at the old Prince Skylines, they're kind of like, uh, 
The best thing I can really equate them to now is like, um, oh, I don't know, like a, uh, like an, a base model Alpha Julia. You know, oh, okay. it's, it's a it's a fairly classy businessman's car, but it's got a you know a, a nice little kick to it. Yeah, and there's some uh, racing very, heritage. Yeah, they're very easily drivable and raceable. Um, they're kind of like uh, I, I'd equate this to an M235i. I see. Okay. Okay. Is that but uh, without an interior. This yeah. Is, this is basically like a GT3 RS. Yeah, this is a this is a race car. At this point, yeah. You know. Well, this 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 one specifically is probably stripped out to be a race car. But you know, given the uh, the night how the '90s were and how the '80s were in Japan, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually sold it like this, stripped out and all. You know, uh, I know that uh, around this time Nismo started forming, but at that time it was only a motorsports thing. Um, there was no real uh, customer like Clan de Corsa side of it. You know, so I I'm pretty sure you could have gotten a. Uh, you know, a Nismo treatment on this car where you send the factory a note like, hey, I'm going to race this thing, and they do something for you. Okay, cool, cool. You know, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, Stuart, let's, uh, let's head out and check out some more stuff. Stu, check it out. This is another uh, 50th anniversary edition. So, look, it's got the, the white with the red stripe down the middle. Now, unique wheels in the body color, like those, uh, those accents right there. Do you know what the significance of the hood stripe is? I think it's like a, like a classic, like... It, it's a classic um, Hakasuka or Kenmari livery because the Hakasuka's hood bulge was shaped like that right, to right. fit the uh, S20 underneath it. Okay. And uh, so when they would race these cars at, you know, Fuji or in any kind of GT event, the cars were always, the factory cars were blue and white and white and red. Right. And right. that was used to differentiate which car was which. Yeah, like the, the one over there is uh, is blue and white. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yep. Nice little heritage thing they did. There's like six or seven GTRs over here. Oh, did I did I say six or seven? I think I'm, I think like fifteen. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen GTRs. Ooh. And this is just here. Like this doesn't include the ones that are over there. It's probably like a good twenty or so by now. All right, so b before we head back to the party, I just want to check out some of the GTRs they have here because I see I, I see one Liberty Walk GTR, which is really beautiful, and uh, a couple other nice things. So let's check them out. Stewart, there's a Hummer H1 limo. Stewart, there's a Hummer H1 limo here. What, you don't like it? Look at it, it's badass, it's huge. What was, have you ever seen a Hummer H1 limo? Come on. Why? Because it's badass. Because it's cool. That thing's got to be like incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable. Nah, how bad could it be? It's a Hummer H1. It oh, yeah. has a 6.5 liter Detroit diesel that makes all of 170 horsepower. It's probably upgraded. I mean, come on. What? There's no way that they would do all this work and not upgrade the engine. First off, the, the stock engine was... A stock Hummer is really, really slow. So yeah, it's 170 horsepower. If they're adding horsepower. like another 2,000 pounds to the thing, I'm, I guarantee they're going to add like some horsepower. They probably have one of the Duramax diesel conversions or something. You know. But anyway, I don't know. Liberty Walk. Not sure what color this is. It looks like Estoril blue or Yas Marina blue. Yeah, it almost looks like a Yas Marina blue, but a little different. It's got this massive. Dude, look at the size of this thing. I mean, this is my hand for comparison, right? Jeez. Massive swan neck mounted adjustable carbon fiber spoiler. Is it carbon fiber? Oh, eh, it's close enough. Probably fiberglass, I guess. Yeah, it is. Is it carbon fiber? Yeah, you can see the weave through the paint. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Dude, look at this. It's got carbon fiber in the, uh, what's it called again? The license plate frame area? The Liberty ceramic. Walk. Imagine all the people living life in peace. LB works are so I think Liberty Walk has a has like something in Miami. I want that plate. Gundam One. Really? I want that. Plate. Oh, and this is a Nismo, dude. This is yeah. like this is like 600 horsepower. Yeah. With an Acropovic exhaust. Oh, very nice. Or, I'm sorry, sorry. Acropovic. Of course, because it's not a. Uh, it's Czech. It's Czech, so. <laughs>
So check this out. There's a, kind of a crowd of people around him, but father of the GTR. He's, uh, he's actually here tonight at Supercar Rooms. And uh, i got to figure out where he went, but this is, this is pretty cool. Because not only do we have the 50th anniversary GTR, the father of GTR himself is here and checking out all these cars. So let's, uh, let's go say hi. So they're hanging out, chilling this uh, silver GTR. I think he's signing some cars. There you go. So Shiro is uh, signing. Okay. I know how that feels. There we go. Signed. There you go. On your good side, Tyson. Yeah. And and watch. Oh. Classic Grand Seiko. Yeah, baby. Okay, there's so many people trying to get there. You don't wear watches. Sure, I don't think I'll be able to get one myself. So we spent. We've been here for like two hours. I didn't realize, dude. It's an open bar. Yeah. So, what'd you, what'd you get? I got a. I got a orange. I got an orange. What exactly did you get? Orange and I got a screwdriver. Okay. It's good enough. Yeah, I don't have too many of those. Yeah, I need to drive back home. What do you get? What and you're you a lightweight. Yeah, two and I'm done. No, one of those and you'll be done. Oh, come on. I'm not that bad. It's vodka. I had four beers at Sebring. And hobbled four. back to the tank. Shut up. All right, all right. So... We're making our way over to the R32. We're going to rev up some engines, and uh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, we got to turn it up. There's an R32, R35 over there. Oh, yeah. Most of these guys are modified.
right, guys, well, that's that. That's a wrap. So, we've been here. GTR event at Supercar Rooms is over. It's been a ton of fun. This is actually, I think, the most fun event I've ever had. See, you, brother? It was, this is the most fun event I've ever had at, uh, at Supercar Rooms. Uh, just seeing, oh, dude, dude, this, this 240Z right here, that has an RB swap. This is an RB swap. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. This is the most fun event I've ever had. Just seeing all these cool people, meeting all these new people, uh, seeing all of these amazing cars and watching them rev up. Uh, this was this was an incredible night. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out FinishLineFactory.com for fittings, hoses, fuel systems, weld bungs, the works. I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.